Hey collectors, it's Anthony from Astrosnet here, and today we're looking at Transformers, Prime Wars, Titans Return, Chaos and Velocitron, Nautica, and Nautica is one of those really hard ones to get unless you spend the 300 plus dollars that is the current market price for the four pack that she is included in. And um, she is kind of like, she's a remote blur first, and then she's kind of like a hover jet of some type. Uh, so she got the hover wings on the side. And, but everything else is pretty much whole on blur uh, with slight modifications. So um, she would be the second Fembot with this form because RC also has this form. Uh, but uh, yeah, decent enough. Uh, rolls fine. Uh, comes with this pistol that attaches in the front. The same gimmick as everybody else. Uh, kind of wish you would have got a dual pistol situation like RC, but what are you going to do? And... Um, she does have this back piece, or this piece that does end up on her back eventually, and um, it, ha it has a like a kickstand or something. It, it, it's a whole thing. I'm not going to worry about it this second, but she also has a tar uh, like a little guy a mini con, I guess. Uh, I do not know the name of it because without the packaging, you know, I guess I could have looked it up, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, here is what her face looks like. I think it's kind of cool looking. So, um, like the others of the mold, it has this piece here. We just fold this down, and then we start pulling apart uh, the little bit it's stuck in. Uh, these can stay on. Um, these actually could be part formed, but I, they don't have to be. Um, is, what am I missing here? Because it's giving me a butt ache about it. Um, okay, we'll just do this. There we go. Okay. Erg. Come on. There we go. Pull that out. And um, and then I believe there are panels here on the leg, if I remember correctly. Yep, here they are. Just fold these out like this. Fold her legs out like this. And uh, then where's that fin at? The fin. Okay, so we separate these. This fin goes in. Close this up. Close that up. Pull out the toes. Here we go. And so far, so good. Then we slap this back. And uh, then we can put the arms in place. Uh, the previous owner, um, he is a from a collector group that's uh, local to me. Uh, it was one of those things where he, he bought the set and it kind of just put, put, you know, converted her once and then just uh, left her in the display. And that was the end of that. So, um, you know, it's a win for me. Uh, she's still expensive, though, um, because of how difficult it is to find her. Uh, at the time when I was looking for her, uh, I think there was only, like, um, two or three. Uh, one person wanted $1,000 for her. Uh, the guy who I got this from, way less than that. And then one person who had incomplete for more than this guy was asking for it. And I'm like, yeah, I think I'll go with this guy. Thanks. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's she's nice enough. Uh, looks really good. Uh, these pieces do not spin or anything, so there's nothing more to it. And uh, looks good. Uh, just like with the others, you can take this off and it can become a shield. And um, there's this other functionality, as I said, where like this has a little skiff on it. You can make it a sled for your minicon or whatever. I think it's dumb, so I will never do it. But, uh, you know, shield, if you want, it's fine looks kind of you know nifty but uh, as with the other ones I will generally just keep this back here and uh, that'll be the end of that and uh, just slides on here and then it locks into place with two nice ratchets and uh, yeah she looks pretty good rolls fine um, which is funny for the safer technically uh, what I guess is supposed to be a hovercraft but uh, yeah that's Nautica with that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.